I'm going to presume it's actually outputting this time. So remember this is an alpha build to section demo. Press demo. And yeah, there are going to be issues revolving around that, like the frame rates, because it's obviously not optimized, which makes it a bit harder. This is my second time attempting to record this. First time, it was rather black because it didn't record my output. You can separate your fish, and the fish have different powers. Oops. It's inspired by games like. Um, Insanely Twisted Shadow Planets and what was the other one that I was going to quote? Aquaria. Both fun games and obviously the fishes have different powers, you'll notice the different colour fishes. The sparkly effects and everything are going to be what's causing slowdown and optimization issues but not too big of a deal. It's time to swap to number two which is the faster fish. The first fish is the enemy killing fish and the third fish it absorbs things. Now we want to knock that out and if you collect these things there were an ask you to get extra luminies at the next checkpoint and the next checkpoint was quite a way away. I'm stuck on the wall a little bit. Clicks I have played this through before and water effect again have a big influence is where we demonstrate the absorption power. Still wants us to be fish three, but I'm saying no, I've been fish three. I prefer being fish one. Because there's a lot of enemies and Okay, I'll be fish three for a bit. Oh no, it's killing off all my fish. Although they're not fish, because we're flying, <laughs> we're in the air. They just look a lot like fish to me. So yeah, the water there. And with the aquaria thing, yeah, that's underwater. And the whole scenery sort of looks underwater. And I did fully explore everything last time I was going through. I didn't quite make it through all the way, although the frame rate seems to be working a bit better today. Oh no. I don't think... Yeah, fish arbitration is an issue. We do lose a lot of our fish. I'm going to keep calling them fish. I mean, I know they're birdies, but <laughs> look at them. They're sort of fish birds with wings. Aha! There are a lot of different puzzles. At the moment in the alpha, they're a lot simpler. You can move them independently and obviously with dual controls rather than the keyboard, it's a lot easier on the joypads. But I've broke my jump pad at the moment, so I can't demonstrate that. I didn't make it all the way to the end though, because the frame rate issue screwed me at the wind turbine twisting puzzle later. There does seem to be a sort of plot, but it doesn't give way too much in the demo. And the plot is... Obviously now we're just exploring the cave and completely harmless. There's less wall paintings than there were in the previous version that I played and showed off. I hope you've all seen that video and enjoyed it. Death on those walls. Death is clearly demonstrated by the red stuff. Now we're in an ice cave here. Sort of hard to demonstrate that we've gone below, below the water level. I don't know if we have or not, but I would imagine that would be the different Thing. And there are different areas, and especially the next one after this, if I believe I'm getting it correctly, is a checkpoint where we get even more fish from all the spores that we co collected. I'm surprised that the actual grass things grew there because I didn't collect what I presumed to be the grass spores, because they certainly didn't give me the type 4 fish. And you notice that there were at least issues with the scenery there. Four types of fish when it was showing off to go to the different numbers. We only have three at present. Right, we'll get rid of him. These are the extra spores that I was talking about. I'm making a lot quicker progress I believe than last time. 
Like I say, it took me 33 minutes to get to the wind turbine last time, and that entire video had to be thrown away because it didn't show up. There are secret hidden areas, which you might not necessarily find, but I did find one last time. If I can find it again, it's around here somewhere, hidden away. It's got the Spielbars logo. Where are you? Come on, fish. Don't eat my fish. Whoa! Damn it! That was dumb. You can see all the fish falling out the air. They're birds, but... Oh no. We haven't got many left. <laughs> That's what you get for knowing the secrets there. Cause that kind of looks like a wall. And then you go through this wall, which is definitely a wall. And you come out at the Spielbars logo. Now I don't have many of my Lumini left. Or Lumini? I don't know how it's exactly pronounced. But I assume finding something like that will be an achievement in the main game. I wonder how many other people have found that. I chanced upon it entirely by accident. Now I need some of my people back when we get to the next checkpoint. This isn't quite the next area. It's sort of an interim. Cityscape sort of thing. Adding again to the mystery of what is... Oh no, don't eat us. Oh damn it, I've got no more reds. Oh, we got a red back for some reason. I don't know, the game's being polite. <laughs> it was like, you need a red. You need at least one red. Maybe you can mutate your Lumini somehow and get extra. But the plot to me seems to be restoring the lands and growing the grass. And there are more grass balls that I didn't collect. But they might just be again for different types of Lumini because I would assume that blue is for the blue. So what do we get? We get some reds, we grow some grass balls. We didn't get much else. But then again I didn't focus on collecting every single piece of blue light like I did before, but it didn't seem to make too much difference. Now we're out in the desolate area with those giant dinosaur beasts. You can fly up, but up is death. There's a toxic gas cloud <laughs> that just kills you at the top of the area. Now normally, you're probably meant to zoom past him, but I prefer to just deal with him the easy way. Although I got too close there. Knock him out entirely. Because once he's gone, you can just go right past. Now we'll demonstrate it the proper way. With the number two speedy fish. But he eats us, and that's why I prefer having this. Because it's better to take them out than eat them. But there's probably a pacifist achievement or something. If you don't kill everything. <laughs> because you are nice peaceful bird beings rather than destructive. Just collecting a few more of these because I imagine I'm going to need some more. <laughs> we'll soon be coming up on the windmill area. Which I couldn't get past because of frame rate issues. But it seems to be playing a bit nicer today, so... Oh dear. Clutch! Getting through that without even activating an ability. That looked like a hidden area up there, to be honest. So what do we find up here? And again, with these sorts of games, it's all exploration and discovery. And you could sort of see the toxic cloud there. At the top, I didn't get too close. Aha, some more green spores. See, these have to be something special. Because they're hidden away. 
and they're less prevalent than the blue spores. And especially as it's through that moor of death right there. And we go say hello to our little friend. Who's not so little. He looks really, really sad. And we just sit in the middle. Hello. <laughs> looks a bit happy now that we said hello. And we'll just grow some more scenery, make it a little less dusty. Because that's what plants do. That's why bushes are important in the countryside. Because they break up the wind and cause it to be less dusty. If we didn't have all the bushes, apparently we'd be quite dusty in our landscape. Now, this is tougher than it should be. Because rotating whilst having frame rate issues on a keyboard especially not so easy in unison <laughs> yeah not happening let's see if I can get the door open come on door damn it come on I think because they're two separate as well, it creates even further frame rate lag. So if I do just one, I can sort of get one around. But it still doesn't go fast enough to make it light up properly. As it probably should be. I don't even know if I'm rotating this the right way either. And then to add to it, Come on. You're going too far that way though. Damn it. <laughs> right, you start over there. Right, we've got one going. Shame I can't just automate them to say that. And I don't know what was going on with my screen there either. It sort of focused off the <laughs> second one and back onto the first one. Yeah, man. This is tough. Tougher than it should be. <laughs> right, separate again. Do I go this way round, perhaps? Now it's lighting up better that way. So... Come on. I'm never going to get it through this in this frame rate to be honest, but... I guess that's secrets that you'll never discover. And you'll have to look forward to later. Or I can sort of try... Aha! Cheese in it. <laughs> nah, the blue ones aren't gonna allow me to cheese it properly. That would be cool if I could. Right. Three, two, one, go. I reckon if I get the timing and positioning exactly right. Go. I should be able to do this. But it's too tough with these frame rate issues. There's an input lag, you see. And you won't notice that in the video. I want to get in there. But, alas, not today. So, thanks for watching. This has been Lumini. Coming soon to Steam. I think it'll be a lot of fun. And I look forward to playing it. So... Thanks for watching. Goodbye.